guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this uh, two, uh infinity skirt so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to start with the skirt part so guys you might need about two and a half yards of fabric for this depending on your size and guys you can make it a long skirt you can make it a shorter skirt but this one here is going to have a pocket a pencil skirt with a pocket and the top part is infinity so guys the, the first thing i did is just to fold my fabric into two so you see i have my front panel and then the one behind it is my back panel which has extra about 1.5 inch for my zipper allowance so the width i'm using here is about uh the width i'm using here is just my hip measurement divided by four so the hip i'm working with divided by four is going to be 12 plus one is 13 so the width here is 13 inches so guys let me separate the back and the front so i don't confuse you guys so basically this is just a fabric on a fold right the only difference between this and this is that the width of this one is this here plus extra 1.5 right so now on this one i'm going to go ahead starting from here so we are going to start from the folded part to insert the measurement so starting from the waist i'm going to insert my waist to the hip is about 10 inches down here mark it all the way here on a straight line and then i'm going to come in here and insert my waist measurement divided by four mark that and then you're going to add two inches to that because you need one inch of that in and one inch of side seam. and then after that you're going to connect it to the hip line right so i've connected it to the hip and then remember this uh this hip line here is just the widest part of your lower body is what you're using because it's the skirt so um that's why i have 13 here so the next thing you're going to do is on this lower line you're going to subtract one inch from here because remember this here is cut on a straight line so subtract one inch at this lower part so because it's a pencil skirt so now i'm going to just connect from here down to this point so guys this is basically my skirt the next thing i have to do is just my dart my dart i'm going to use nipple to nipple distance which is uh eight divided by two is going to be um four and then i'm going to put in my mark my dart so my dart is going to be two inches before here so somewhere here is where my dart is going to stop so my dart is going to come down here half an inch on both sides and then just taper it down this way so let me notch the center line so that i can be able to transfer this that on the two sides of the front and the two sides of the back so guys the next thing i'm going to do is to follow this line and cut this whole thing out so guys now that i've cut off the excess on the side i'm just this is my back panel right we are going to just place this here on the back panel the only difference is now this extra room for our zip i'm going to split the back open so that we can be able to insert our zip here and then i'm also going to follow this side and cut this whole thing out so guys this is it here so i took this one from here so this is the front panel i'm going to separate it from the back because the pocket is uh, on the front so guys the next thing i'm going to do is just to come down here and um by one inch and then mark five inches distance from this point to that point here and then i'm going to go in by about because remember i still have one inch of side seam allowance here so let's say i go in by two inches extra after that so my pocket is going to start here after i sew in this one inch of seam allowance so i'm going to connect it all the way up to this point so this here is going to be my pocket so i'm going to cut this part off but before i cut it off i need to make sure that my the the you need to cut out extra fabric that looks like this which is going to be the body of your pocket right so let me check what my width is i have about seven inches 7.5 inches of width and almost uh, 9.5 inches of length so i'm going to place this underneath this skirt here right so that i can be able to shape the waist out right so that i can have exactly the same thing on this panel so i'm going to place this here and then shape the waist of this skirt before i cut off that excess so after cutting this out now so i have something to replace it with now i can go ahead and cut off this x this one here so i'm going to cut off following this line that i made for my pocket now i'm going to cut that off and guys the next thing you're going to do is i cut out instead of using my fabric 
twice right for the inner uh, the innermost part of this pocket i just use this one because it's light this is like a lining so i'm going to use it as the inside uh pocket and then this one is the outer pocket here so this one here is supposed to have my waistline so that's why i trimmed this uh excess off so now all i have to do is just to take this one here i use the shape of this when it was still a square to cut this out so now all i have to do is just to place it in here and then trace out this part of this pocket on it so guys i've already made a tutorial on how to put this particular type of pocket on a trouser on a short i'm just using the same method on a skirt it's just exactly the same thing so i'm just going to go ahead and use this piece here to cut it off and then fold it in so guys now that uh this is what it's supposed to look like so i tried to do one uh behind the camera now i'm showing you guys what it's supposed to look like so the lining you're using for the pocket you're going to cut it in this way following the line of that armhole i'm uh, sorry of that pocket uh space so now that you've done that you're going to turn the lining in guys some people normally like top stitch their own on the lining like this like you're seeing you top stitch it on the lining just to hold it in if you want you can top stitch it this way just with the fabric to anyone you want you can do and then the next thing you're going to do is to take the skirt and the the back of the fabric and place it so now you're going to put this in following the same way you see why we use the body to trace it because now you've gotten back the side of your skirt so once you do that you top stitch it at the top here and then at the side here and then you take the back panel and place on it so once you place the back panel on it sorry you place the back panel this way right so once you place your back panel this way and sew it down you see now we have our pocket here it's complete then we know we have to put in the band of the skirt you see this side here the same thing is what happened we already have the back panel sewn in then this is the the part of the skirt that we use to replicate the side uh, seam and then this is the inner lining so that's how you're going to get this here and then you, you you're going to iron it and you have your skirt so now i'm going to do the two sides of the skirt so that we can insert the band and put in the um the infinity part of it uh, so guys this is it here i've finished the skirt so it has two pockets in front so guys the next thing i have to do is just to cut out band that is enough to go around but before that make sure that you've measured the waist and it's exactly your waist measurement right so you're going you're going to start from one side of the zip allowance and so and um, measure all the way around to the other side of the zip allowance so that you know how much you need to cut out so i've cut out what i need is five inches of weight and then i'm going to fold it into two this way and then talking about half an inch on each side because i want my band to be two inches talking half an inch here half an inch on this side iron it out and then starting from one side of the zip right starting from one side of the zip i'm going to just insert this in between just this way so you have to iron the band right and then you're going to put this in between this way and then sew it down all the way around so once you finish sewing it and attaching this you're going to put your zip to the skirt and then the skirt is done then you can attach this but before that you're going to also take your tape and measure to know the length you would want yours to be but i'm going to tell you guys the length of mine so mine is about um the width i have here is 15 inches at the moment but guys if you're more on the smaller size, maybe you can get away with like 15 inches before folding the seam allowances on the side because these 15 inches I used about one inch to fold each side and one inch to fold each side. But um, you can use cut 15 inches width and then fold yours. Just check what will be enough for you. And then the length I have here is about so. The length I have here is more than 60, it's almost the length of the tape. So that's the length I have. So it depends on you what you want yours to be. So I've cut mine out, folded the edge. So now I'm going to join the band so that I can be able to join this to it. So guys, this is it here. My skirt is done. So basically this infinity is just the, a pencil skirt with the top or a flayed skirt with the top, a palazzo pants with this uh, thing attached to it that's basically the whole point of any infinity piece that you have 
so um the next thing i did here is just to mark the center so following my zip i marked the center line here the center of my skirt so this is the back here i've attached my zip right so you see now this this center part here i marked it following where my zip is so the next thing you can do now is just to take this and insert it inside here and join it you can join it this way and sew it on top like this so you have to gather it because you don't want this to because if you if you just sew it straight you'll find that it will go all the way to the back right so you want it to go over by the side at least by one inch or by 1.5 inch right to the side this much right you want it to go over to, so that it can cover the side of your boobs you just don't want to put it only in front you want it to cross over by let's say two inches 1.5 from the side seam right so you're going to take it place it that way so from the center here to the side and then everything in between you're going to gather it mostly towards where you have your bust right remember your bust is going to be where your dart is so you're going to gather it somewhere here this way and then sew it down like that so make a stitch this way down on it and then pull it up back or another thing you can do is to cross it over a little this is what i like to do with mine cross it over a little you don't want to have one on this side straight and then another one on this side straight like this right you don't want the two of them straight just like this and then like this so let me show you what i'm saying you don't want the two of them to go over like after attaching it you don't want the two to just start like this just for a little more closure i like to cross it over a little so make the one from this side so this is my center line this one from here make it go over here by one inch and then this one from here make it go over here by one inch and then sew everything else down just so that i can cover up a little bit more but if you don't want that you can just start from your center line put this one on this side on the center line on this side put this one so guys let me explain again how you're going to join this so if you want to join it starting from the center line the way it is now you're going to take it to your sewing machine right so this is your sewing machine now you're going to place it under your sewing machine this way and then you're going to pull it you can pin it down before you sew it down if you want you can just get it this way and then remember this is my side seam here you're going to have about one inch or 1.5 or two inches to the side and then every everything else in between get it here right underneath where you have this breast dart is where you have the most pleat and gather because remember that's where your nipple to nipple measurement falls in and that's where your bust is so i'm going to go ahead now and join mine so guys this is it here is done i finished mine so um guys um, another thing i like to do is to try to sew it to the lower line so as you can see that's what i did here so i just took this here placed it straight down you see where the edge is up place it straight down and then follow this seam here to sew it to the lower line and then if i want i can also come back to this top line to sew it down again just to secure it but it depends on you how you want yours to be you see my line crossed each other the the strap they crossed each other here so that's basically it so um thank you guys so much for watching please like share and subscribe bye